Well, hello there. Welcome to Ensuring Your Well-Being. I am Dennis James, the Viking Dance and Insurance Man with various insurance planning. So glad you're here today. We're going to have a great topic, as we always do. Uh, when it comes to talking today, we will be discussing the types of long-term care insurance policies for individuals and also for the work site, which has become really important today and popular uh, because the 10,000 baby boomers a day, and um, it is just all these insurance carriers are coming into the market to uh, offer some really amazing products that really will make a positive difference as an individual or within the business. Uh, and it really comes down because of the families and caregiving, and there's a lot of really unique uh, plans uh, today available. And it's a stream of income, just like anything else, right? If you're carrying life insurance, you want to have it to protect your family, your loved ones. Uh, you know, you lose a key employee at work. Uh, you know, you could be the key employee, so you want to make sure you lock in a benefit uh, while you can. All right. So as far as types of long-term care insurance, on an individual basis, uh, traditional is uh, very popular today, and there are a lot of great plans out there. And what you want to look at when you have a traditional plan, you know, all these plans that I'm going to be discussing uh, are like the traditional or comprehensive plans, right? So that's going to cover you at home for any kind of adult day, uh, home care. Uh, and if you, you go to a facility, assisted living, all these facilities, nursing home care, and then it has also uh, adult daycare centers, which is uh, pretty popular. And there's a lot of benefits that you can have uh, for a husband and wife. You can have what they call a shared benefit. And there's uh, I'm going to be discussing the inflation, how that works, and elimination periods. But one of the things you want to figure out, and that's where your professional uh, expert comes in, that long-term care insurance expert. And, you know, you want to look at as far as a benefit amount, okay? And benefit amount would be what that means is in today's dollars, all right? And so as an example, if you were to... Uh, look at what it costs, depending what state you're in. All right, I'm in Michigan. So if you were to look at a home health care, all right, you're looking at any, you know, right around fifty to sixty thousand dollars per year. All right, and um, a, a, if you're looking at assisted living facilities, that's gonna be, you know, uh, right around sixty thousand. It could be sixty to seventy thousand. And then um, when it comes to nursing homes, them can get very expensive. You know, you're at uh, anywhere from a hundred to one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Again, you know, and there are um, like Jensworths. Uh, there's different mass uh, mutual of Omaha. You can pretty much find out exactly. Uh, what state you are, and it'll tell you exactly what it would cost in today's dollars, and then it also can go into what it would cost in the future. And that's, you know, your long-term care insurance expert can do that. It's actually on my website, variousinsuranceplanning.com, right? So there's uh, information that really does talk, uh, talk about that. And so I talked to you about uh, that benefit amount, all right? So as an example, I gave you an idea. Now, uh, a lot of times what you'll look at is, okay, if the cost is $6,000 a month, and I had that for, 20, for 12 months, that's $72,000, all right? So if you take $72,000, and let's just say you have a five-year benefit period, and I'll talk about, that's going to give you $360,000, all right, to cover long-term care insurance. Now, so I mentioned the benefit amount, all right, so that would be a total amount for five years. Now, a benefit period would be 
uh, you know, two years, three years, four years, five years, or, you know, there's a carrier out there that would pay a lifetime benefit. All right. Obviously, the the longer the benefit period and the more the uh, benefit amount that's paid out, it's going to cost you a little bit more. All right. But it's for sure going to give you peace of mind. Uh, you know, and I always would believe that what you want to think of, you know, what's affordable for you. Right. And at the same time, you know, what do you want to sell fund on it? All right. And that's where you want to have some kind of a meaningful plan in place. You know, you may not want to fund it all. And I mean, if you if, if that works for you in your budget, great. Uh, you know, but there's so many more benefits when you have a insurance policy in place. Care coordination, right? That's where you have experts with insurance carriers that can make sure, uh, you know. So usually they're with the insurance companies. Doesn't have to be because there's people that specialize in it uh, within your own state. And they can help placement and that type of thing. Uh, but that takes off the emotional, physical, financial burden off families, right? When something does happen, and it does happen, all right? Um, especially as we get older. All right, and then I, so you, you take that benefit period, you know, and I, I, I gave you that example of a five-year benefit period. But, you know, you may want a three or four, you know, it comes back to that that. Uh, amount. Then you look at elimination periods, all right? Elimination periods are uh, pretty much 90 days, or you could have 100 days, and sometimes they'll cover you at home, uh, at home uh, where it'll be a zero elimination period, or you can pay extra to, to, to have that on your policy. And then um, you want to look at, uh, is it a calendar day, oh, right? Um, and most of them are, or it could be just plain standard, all right? So, or, I'm sorry, service day. Service means for every, so if you have a 90-day, a calendar day is once you go on claim, and that is for uh, two of six of your ADLs where you need assistance or cognitive, and that's dementia, Alzheimer's, that type of thing, all right? So once you once you get approved for it, then... That 90-day calendar, after it'll, it'll start paying immediately. <clears throat> or if it's a service day, it's for each service day, so that could take a lot longer. But, you know, you're gonna, you know there's some money saved on that, so you want to know what's going to work the best for you, uh, you know, based off your needs. And uh, what's important uh, now when it comes to traditional plans is – uh, what they call inflation, all right? Because today's dollars, remember, I mentioned that to you. Well, you know, yeah, if, if 10 years from now, five years, every year, right year, we know that inflation, you know, things go up. So, uh, you know, what's it going to cost me, uh, you know, if I went on claiming 15 years or 20 years? Uh, and so you have that built in. So that, so those are normally would be two, three, uh, I'm two percent, three percent, four percent. You know, five percent's a pretty. Uh, you know, a lot of people like uh, the uh, inflation that will pay five percent, and it can be simple or compounded. All right, uh, compounded are usually the most popular. All right, because it compounds like it's like dollars, right? It compounds uh, with you, and versus simple, but simple. Uh, would cost less also. So, you know, I would suggest looking at them both or, you know, uh, going from there. Uh, what else can I tell you? You know, traditional plans today, they really are priced proper. You know, you've heard, we've heard the nightmares where, you know, wow, you know, uh, the, the, Thing jumped up 50, 60, 70 percent. Well, you know, it's not really like that today. They're priced right. When they were doing that back 15 years ago, things were a lot different. They didn't know how to really price them out. They were doing it like Medicare and, you know, what they knew. Well, today it's a whole lot different. I don't think, uh, you know, uh, it isn't 
guaranteed, but uh, the truth of the matter, uh, they do have, uh, there are certain companies that will, uh, you know, guarantee for the first five years, or if you pay for, let's just say, 10 years, a 10-year pay, uh, it'll guarantee it out for for your life. All right. Um, you know, you can pay on these monthly, semi-annual, quarterly, or annual basis, just like any other type of insurance you do. And if you have you and your, let's just say, your partner on there, your spouse, well, then they give discounts. All right. So it could be like 20% discount for if it's you and your spouse on there. Or it could be just if it's just you, it could be 5%. Or if you're working with a company uh, within your the business, then, um, you know, there there's discounts there depending on the insurance carrier. The bottom line is having something. You know, I uh, I've seen a lot of people that go on claim, or we've heard about it. If we've ever been a caregiver, um, it's just reality. All right. So um, now, uh, something that has really become popular too is what they call hybrid or linked benefit policies. And what that is, that's life insurance with long-term care rider on there. Or you could have life insurance with what they call an extension of, of benefits. All right. So that's having life insurance and uh, a benefit. So when you go to use something like that, uh, right, so you're going to it's going to pay the life insurance out first. So you could, you know, you could have that face amount of, let's just say, um a hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna just keep this simple, all right. And then you have a rider. So it's a hundred thousand dollar benefit, all right. So that means that you go to use it. You're gonna you're gonna use the life insurance first. If you never use anything, including the long term care rider, uh, then it, you die. It goes to your beneficiary, all right. So. If you have the life insurance, let's just say you go on claim, uh, right? You can use that long-term care insurance. Now, they're going to subtract it from the death benefit if, if that's the case, all right? But, um, you know, that can uh, make a big difference for your family, all right? And then I mentioned the extension of benefits. So you could have 100000 of the life insurance, then you could have another extension court right where it's gonna continuation of benefits where it's gonna pay just say another hundred thousand all right so now all of a sudden you have two hundred thousand now if you increase the death benefit right you have 250 and 250 it'd be the same thing right now all of a sudden you have um a two hundred fifty thousand dollar life policy you would use that first and then um uh you would have the other if you have the extension of benefits, it would pay that additional two fifty. So now all of a sudden you have five hundred thousand dollars total. Um, tax free benefits. All right, so that's always a big plus when it comes to long term care insurance, uh, especially like traditional. All right, there's a lot of tax benefits there. If you have the life insurance with the extension of benefits, if it's um, uh, and it, and it's separated from the life insurance and it's paying out as a true long-term care insurance, seventy-seven hundred two B, then that can be tax deductible also, right? And so there are benef tax benefits to uh, that, tax-free benefits also. Um, so a lot of people like those, like I said, the, you know, that you're going to hear different things are called hybrid or it's called linked benefits, asset based, uh, you know, but the bottom line is life insurance with long-term care insurance. All right. Uh, and premiums usually are higher than standalone. And the reason is because you do have life insurance with it. Right. So if you don't really need life insurance and a lot of times that works good because a families or the business wants somebody to, to get the benefit, the life insurance or the uh, 
the long-term care insurance right there because it's going to pay one or the other. So there's benefits. The advantage there, it is guaranteed premium too. So you don't got to worry about the premium going up. So that can uh, be for sure an advantage to it. You know, there's flexibility in, uh, you know, the long-term care, the popular choice. You know, that premium's like where, like I said, your heirs get something. Uh, you know, and then there's also the annuities with the long-term care, right? So um, those can be good. There's no, keep in mind, there's underwriting, right? So they're going to look at underwriting. They're going to under, medically underwrite you. When it comes to annuities, there's not near as much underwriting on that. Right, so um, that's going to be annuity, and uh, and then it has a lot of times these annuities will pay two, three times the amount for long-term care insurance. So that's the benefit there. And if you have a non-qualified plan, you know it's money that you're not going to really use, and it's non-qualified. Uh, there's the Pension Protection Act, and that can turn into where you normally would be paying. Let's just say, keep it simple, you know. You started that. Uh, you, you started at a hundred thousand dollars, and it grew to two hundred thousand dollars. Well, if you take it and you put it into a qualified annuity um, for long-term care insurance, you'll get two to three times the amount, and um, you would eliminate the taxes on that because of it being non-qualified under that Pension Protection Act. All right, um, moving right along here. So again, right, you can, uh, that's the benefit there. You know, one other thing on short-term uh, health in, uh, insurance, those are also very popular today. And the reason is because they're very cost-effective. And um, you can, normally they'll pay for a one-year duration, but you can have restoration of benefits, so it will continue to pay. Uh, you know, with all these, if you're not using the benefit, then you know you have, like I, you know, you're, you're it's it's going to continue to 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 pay for you. Uh, there's not near as much underwriting on those, and a lot of times you can get those up to uh, age 85, 89, just depending uh, on the insurance carrier. Uh, they, so you could have just a uh, plain home health care, right? It's not going to cover you, for, so it's not comprehensive. Or it could be it's going to cover you for just facility care. Or you can have both, all right, where you have, you know, the home health care, and then uh, you can also have it where it pays for the facility. And then you can add other riders on there. You know, let's just say you want a hospital, right? Or you end up in the hospital, right? It's going to pay you X number of dollars, uh, which is beneficial. Some people like it, you know, if they don't have any life insurance, they can get uh, attach a rider, life insurance rider on there. And um, dental, that type of thing. Uh, those are called short-term care policies, right? So they have flexibility in meeting short-term needs. Um, you know, without committing to a long-term care policy. Again, shorter duration, but really still nice to have, all right? All right, here's a big deal, I think, all right? And maybe I say this is called worksite for the employer and for the employees. Uh, you know, um, being in the business like 30 years I always worked in the group benefit arena, even though, you know, I wrote individual insurance. Uh, you know, the, a lot of employers do not understand that um, there's, you know, 30% of your workforce could be caregivers or, you know, and you don't even know it, you know, especially with some of these larger companies, they don't. So one of the things with, with when it comes to that, you know, you're going to have it can be a voluntary benefit, all right, which is really uh, uh, key. So we know what voluntary means. That means that there's no employer pay, right? The, it gives the employee an opportunity to purchase a long-term care insurance. And these are going to be hybrid life 
with the long-term care rider. That's pretty much the way they're all set up in the group market. And um, doesn't mean you can't get a traditional because you can, but I'm talking about if you're starting to get into, uh, you know, groups of 50 plus, uh, that's where you're going to have a, it's a hybrid life with the long-term care rider. And some of them have the extension on there, voluntary, or it can be employer carve-out, and that could be you're offering everything to the, uh, as a voluntary, but if you have key management you, as the owner, uh, you can also carve out you know, a, a, a plan for your, your key people. Uh, where maybe you're paying for that. And even on the voluntary, it can be strictly where the employee pays. Uh, we do see where it could be some employer participation in it. Maybe they want to pay, you know, 25%. Uh, you know, uh, it just depends on, on, on the company. It for sure is a nice benefit, um, you know, and there's flexibilities on to continue the coverage when somebody leaves the company. So that means it's portable, right? They can take that with them, right? Which is really a big deal, right? So, uh, you know, you're working with the company and, right, if you, if you leave, you can take it with you. Now, we know that anytime you get group plans, larger group plans, there's group discounts, that type of thing. You know, and then a lot of these can be what they call a guarantee issue. A guarantee issue means that it's going to, no matter what your health is, right? So, you you know, we're not, you know, insurance companies don't want to be taken on risk. But if you have a large group, they're able to, you know, say 100 plus, right? They're able to... Um, offer a guarantee issue, right? So if you're struggling with high blood pressure and you, maybe you're a diabetic, you're going to be able to get it because you go to try to get that as an individual. That's just not going to happen for you, all right? Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you know, it's a great benefit for, you know, to offer a lot of uh, employers don't know about it, but you want to attract and re reward and retain key employees. It's like the perfect way to do it, all right, especially today being in 2024 um, because they're really becoming, and there could be tax benefits, but that's where you uh, talk to your um you know, your CPA or your long-term care insurance expert can at least give you some advice or your CPA, that type of thing. All right. Um, what else? Uh, when it comes to these plans, uh, you know, what you want to want to see is there's a lot of advantages, you know, uh, when it comes to individuals, you know, you're, you're protecting your assets. You, Right, so you work your whole life. You want to be able to protect what you worked your whole life for, because if you go on claim, all right, uh, and, and it can happen at any time, right? We know people, you know, forty years old, fifty years old, even younger than that, right? They can come down with uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. They can, you know, they can get in a bad car accident. Uh, you know, be a paraplegic, you know, um, it, you know, we can go on and on and we know that it can happen at any time. So, you know, we all have to be responsible and make sure we have things in place uh, that can be affordable for you. But again, always having something in place is really going to make a big deal. You know, when you have a plan, you're going to be able to make your own decisions on, you know, your services that way. It keeps independence and flexibility for you. You know, and, and more than anything, it's the peace of mind uh, that it's going to give for you. And for sure, your loved ones aren't going to bear the financial burden of long-term care insurances. 
And I mentioned the uh, tax advantage, a lot of tax advantages for individuals or if you're a S Corp or a um, C Corp is for sure the, the best t- tax benefits. But, um, you know, talk to your advisor on that and they can, can help you with that. Uh, outside of that, I'm going to be wrapping it up here. What I would suggest, um, I would say get with, um, you know, at least know what's available for you. If nothing else, know what's available for you. Because if you don't have a plan, you're going to self-fund the plan. All right. You're going to sell, you know, you're self-insuring yourself and you can, you know, uh, why would you want to, why would you not want to, you know, put the company, right? Uh, the insurance carrier, right? It's put them on the hook, right? Leverage them, right? We know that business people, right? They're going to leverage the insurance company. Uh, why not? It's pennies on the dollar, right? It's kind of like life insurance or disability insurance, right? If you cover, if you carry that, right? You're going to have life insurance while well, you know you're going to die, Right, so that's a guaranteed payout is for your loved ones. Disability, you go on disability. Don't you want to protect your all your assets there, your home and everything else? Well, it's the same thing with long-term care insurance. It's like if you insure your auto and your homeowners, why well, wouldn't you have a claim there? I can tell you, you're pretty much I have a guaranteed claim for life insurance and long-term care insurance. There's no second guessing that, right? Because if you live long enough, you can, you know, we all become fragile. So um, it's just life, right? I mean, I, I'm into health and fitness. That's why I'm the bike and dance and insurance man. Uh, but the truth of the matter, I know if I live a long time, well, I'm going to be using that long-term care insurance that I have. And if I die prematurely, well, my wife is going to be happy because I have life insurance in place. Right. So it's not all about me. It's about making sure I protect uh, who's most important to me. Okay, I hope you learned a lot. If you have questions, you can go to variousinsuranceplanning.com. You can schedule an appointment with me. My email is VIP at variousinsuranceplanning.com. I have a lot of great information on my website, all right? I want to update that, and, you know, and I try to do that. There's great information to learn about it. Uh, I would seek it out on your own, you know, with Google or whatever. I mean, if you had interest, you want it, all you got to do is email me, or you can... My phone number is 248-393-3146. You could call me, and I'm willing to get your information. I have a lot of information I can pass on to you uh, that I uh, that can educate you on it, all right? Because I want to educate you. Uh, you know, it's important that you, you know, right? I mean, it's a subject nobody wants to walk, talk about, think about, right? But... Again, you're doing it for who? Your 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 loved ones, right? So, um, with that being said, uh, I want you to make it a great weekend. Go out there, make it happen, live a healthy lifestyle, and uh, have a blessed day. God bless.